According to the sages, the Amalekites were sorcerers who could transform themselves to resemble animals so enemy armies would not discern and capture them. That's why in 1 Samuel 15 verse 3, God ordered Saul to destroy the livestock in order to destroy Amalek. Indeed, King Saul was supposed to utterly destroy the Amalekites and its cattle, its women and children, but Saul disobeyed God and let King Agag live. Because of Saul's disobedience, we've seen the Amalekites rise up and strike again and again over several thousand years. Indeed, the Amalekites always have Israel in their crosshairs. And the Amalekite spirit, the same spirit that drove the Amalekites in ancient Israel, is still alive and lurking today. This is Jennifer LeClaire, and this is Praying the News. On today's broadcast, we're going to look prophetically at Hamas and modern-day Amalekites and what should be our response as prayer warriors who stand for Israel. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Awakening Prayer Hubs. If you want to learn more about joining our family army, go over right now and join me for a video presentation at awakeningprayerhubs.com slash hero. You could be a prayer hero in your city. History hangs in the hands of intercessors. Join us. We'll raise you up and send you out to make history in the cities and nations of the world. Check it out, awakeningprayerhubs.com slash hero. Just a little history. The Amalekites were the first ones to attack the Israelites during their freedom journey out of Egypt. Make no mistake, the Amalekites were dead set on stopping Israel. And God's plan was to put an end to the enemy bloodline. That's because the Amalekites showed no mercy to Israel. God admonished the Israelites in Deuteronomy 25, verse 17, to keep the brutality of the Amalekites in mind. Let's read the scripture. Remember what the Amalekites did to you along the way when you came out of Egypt. When you were weary and worn out, they met you on your journey and attacked all who were lagging behind. They had no fear of God. When the Lord your God gives you rest from all the enemies around you in the land he has given you to possess as an inheritance, you shall blot out the name of Amalek from under heaven. Do not forget. Now that was far from the only Amalekites attack on Israel. Later, the Amalekites tag teamed with the Canaanites to attack Israel in Hormah. That's Numbers 14.45. Later, we read how the Amalekites joined forces with the Moabites to battle Israel. That's Judges 3.13 and Judges 6, verse 3. The Amalekites specifically targeted the Israelites' food supply and land. God makes a declaration to King Saul in 1 Samuel 15, verse 2 through 3 that we need to pay attention to. Here's what God said. I will punish the Amalekites for what they did to Israel when they waylaid them as they came up from Egypt. Now go, attack the Amalekites and totally destroy everything that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. Unfortunately, as you know, Saul let the Amalekite king Agag live. And as history records it, the Amalekites who escaped continued to attack the Israelites generation after generation. David even met up with them. David felt the wrath of the Amalekites when he was living in Ziklag. You know the story. The Amalekites raided the village, kidnapped the women and children, and burned the city to the ground. In response, David rose up and went to their camp and recovered all. But some Amalekites were still roaming the face of the earth. Now, the last time we see the Amalekites in scripture is in the book of Esther. Haman was an Agagite. In fact, Haman was a direct descendant of the Amalekite king Agag, whose life Saul spared. Haman staged a plot to have every Jew murdered and had the support of King Xerxes. Ultimately, Mordecai and Esther rose up and defeated Haman. You can go read more about that in Esther chapter 9. So here's the question. Is Hamas the modern-day Amalekites? 
A leading yeshiva identified Palestinians as the descendants of the ancient Amalekites and Philistines during the 2014 Gaza War. How did he come to that conclusion? Well, it's based on the belief that Palestinians are Amalekites, he reasoned, and because Amalek is essentially any nation that works to keep the Jews from settling in Israel. Later, really just recently, during the 2023 Gaza conflict, Benjamin Netanyahu said that the Israeli government was committed to completely eliminating this evil from the world. And he also stated, you must remember what Amalek has done to you, says our Holy Bible. And we do remember. And he was referencing, of course, Deuteronomy 25, verse 17 in the Hebrew Bible. Now, since the Amalekites were absorbed into many bloodlines, there's no official people group known as the Amalekites today. However, the spirit that drove the Amalekites to persecute, harass, and otherwise murder Jews is still alive and well today. And yes, I believe the spirit is driving Hamas, that spirit of Amalek. Hamas is certainly borrowing terror tactics from the Amalekites of old with a modern twist, and this terror group must be stopped. So how do we pray? Consider fasting as you pray like the Jews did in Esther's day. Enter into identification or repentance for Israel's sake, for Saul's disobedience and not destroying the Amalekites at God's command. Take authority over the Amalekite spirit that seeks to steal, kill, and destroy Israeli land and food supplies. Bind the strong man of Amalek. Bind up the spirit of Amalek's demonic works against Israel. Dismantle every weapon the Amalekite spirit has formed against Israel. Break the powers of all Amalekite strategies to wear down, tire out, and weaken Israel. Pray to expose every strategy the Amalekites develop to hang Israel. Declare the Amalekite spirit is defeated and pray Israel will go up and recover all that belongs to her. Of course, pray in the spirit, ask God to send angels, pray, pray, pray. If you're a prayer warrior, I want to hear from you. Join me for a video presentation to learn more about how you can thrive in your prayer life and see revival in your city when you launch a prayer hub. Visit awakeningprayerhubs.com slash hero today. This is Jennifer LeClaire, and this is Praying the News. Keep praying the news.